Hi, and welcome to this video by Green Teller Partners on setting up the new JobKeeper payments in MYB Account Right. Today we're using MYB Account Right Live Premier version to illustrate how to set this up. We're firstly going to set up a new payroll category. So we go to the Payroll tab, Payroll Categories, and then under the Wages tab, select New. In here, we'll give it an appropriate name. Government Grants Job Keeper. We'll set the ATO reporting category to be Gross Payments, and we'll leave the type of wages and salary. In here, we can all then set up any exemptions. So you may have calculations in your payroll for things such as union fees or any other deductions, but expressly do not tick the pay-as-you-go withholding. This must be left unticked as there is tax applicable on this payment. Whilst in here, we can also assign this to a number of employees. So we click the employee tab, we can either tick individual employees or tick the all box at the top to tick all employees. On returning back to this screen, we can then go and set up any other areas of payroll applicable now to this new government grants item. Under the superannuation tab, we must exclude it from paying, from calculating superannuation guarantee. So under the superannuation guarantee item, we can click select exempt and tick the now government grants item. It is up to an employer whether they wish to pay the 9.5% on any of the JobKeeper payment. Select OK and this will return us back to the main screen. I just want to draw your attention quickly to the entitlements area. Since we've set this item up as a salary type item, even if you do use an hourly rate for payroll, you don't need to make any changes in here. But be aware, where you've got fixed hourly leave entitlements, you may want to override that during the pay run if the team member is not in fact working at that time and should not be accruing leave. Once you've set up the payroll category, you can also set up defaults for employees. So for employees who will receive the allowance every week or fortnight, you don't need to be re-entering data all the time. Simply click on the card file, card list, and choose an appropriate employee. In this case, we'll choose Sue Smith. If I go into payroll details and wages, we'll see the government grants has been ticked here. Going down to the standard pay, I can see that Sue would normally receive $576.92 per week. Just note here, it's weekly. Therefore, she should receive an additional $173.08 every week to her pay, assuming she's still being employed at the time, to top her up to the $750 a week or $1,500 a fortnight. We click OK. That will now be in her template. So if I just do a quick pay run, under process pay, We'll see now that she has her normal hourly wage and now her government grant amount and tax has been allowed for that. The last part we want to set up is an income item for when we do receive the allowance from the government. We simply do this by going to accounts, accounts list and then other income. Taking note of the current account numbers to find a unique number. I'm going to click select new, making sure I have the other income items chosen here and enter a unique number. And in here, I can simply put rebates, job, keeper payment. Then select the details tab and set the GST code to be free and OK to return. You're now set up to be able to handle the JobKeeper payments. Thank you for watching.